If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gemeter series. This is the season finale of a season two. We'll be learning about XPath to Extractor. Thanks for sticking with me uh, till season two end. And let us go ahead with the XPath to Extractor and then we can wind it up this season two. XPath to Extractor is a type of a post processor element where you'll be able to extract values from the structured response such as XML or XHTML using the XPath2 query language. I think the latest version of XPath is 3.1, but JMeter supports uh, out of the box XPath and XPath2. So this is how it looks in JMeter. Uh, you'll be adding as a post processor element for the uh, response or the request which has the response. And you'll get the apply to field just like any other extractor. And you'll have to name your variable and you have to write your XPath query and the match number 0 for random minus 1 for all the occurrences and the n is for the nth occurrence the default value we have to mention if no matches found it will send the default value in the subsequent uh, request and apart from uh, the other typical text fields here you will get the namespaces aliases so you can use the namespace aliases uh, so that you can write the uh, xpath query very easily which we can uh, see it in a demo and just like any other extractor, you will also get the tester. If you go to uh, view results tree and select the XPath2 tester, you will get a bunch of options where you will be uh, entering the XPath query. And uh, if you click on uh, show namespaces aliases, you will get the bunch of aliases uh, based on your response. And uh, once you click on test, you will get the uh, matches count and the match value. So in this example, we are extracting the result, add result to and that is what uh, you are seeing in the uh, bottom pane and the respective XPath query. So let us uh, go for a quick demo. Uh, we will start with a very simple example, then we can uh, jump with the advanced uh, kind of uh, examples. And here, as you see, uh, this is my uh, sample uh, JMeter test plan, which is available in the uh, GitHub repository, the link in the description. And here, uh, if you see, I'm using the uh, dummy sampler and the dummy sampler response data, I have the uh, simple XML about the uh, book catalog. Let us uh, execute this and uh, go to view results tree and select the XPath2 tester and select the uh, request where you are going to uh, write your XPath query. So here, as you uh, see, it starts with XML tag and uh, there are a bunch of uh, parent and child elements about catalog, book ID, author title, etc. So the root element always accessible using the uh, slash star so when you are, whenever you click on test you will you can see uh, there are a lot of matches found uh, so there is only one root element that is why the match count is uh, one now if you want to jump ahead to the next uh, element so catalog so how many book we have so there are totally 12 books so that is why slash star slash star so it will retrieve everything so there, there are totally 12 books available in this uh, catalog now i want to uh, know about the books so what you can do, again, you can jump the next uh, uh, child, it will which will give you all the uh, elements. So basically there are 72 uh, XML tags are available. That is why it is giving the 72 value and each uh, value is displaying in an array. But this is not much uh, user friendly, right? Uh, you, because you do not know how many uh, levels we have in the XML. So it is not a right way to uh, extract the values. So assume that I want to extract the titles of the pages of the books, basically. So what you can do is you can use a simple, uh, the traversing the XML using their XML uh, tags. So here, let us start with the catalog slash book. So if you enter this, you can see there are 12 books and you can see the match number one, two, three, and four. But now I want to extract the title of the book. Here again, slash title so this will give you all the titles available in the uh, catalog but i want to extract the specific uh, title say i want to extract the first one so what i can do is i can write uh, title of one sorry title uh, uh, sorry book of one and the title so this will give you the uh, first uh, books title so this is how you traverse and you will use the uh, number if, you, if it is an array you will use the uh, respective number 
so the array starts with one here and if you go to the 12th book you can see uh, visual studio 7 so this is how it works the uh, very simple xml so if you want to traverse you can use this kind of approach uh, there are a lot of functions available if you go to uh, just google xpath2 uh, functions you will get a lot of functions which you can utilize it here for example count or uh, absolute uh, converting something or you can do a lot of stuff using the xpath2 functions okay now uh, here if you just click on this uh, show namespaces aliases you don't get anything because it is not using the uh, namespaces so namespaces like uh, it's a w3 recommendation uh, to identify uh, the elements and attributes uniquely so that is why i have another example so if you go to this request let us disable uh, books and let us enable this one so this one is a calculator if you enter uh, two numbers it will give you the sum of two numbers so this is the very simple uh, service and here you can see this particular uh, xml it is using the uh, namespaces okay now let us run this and see uh, what namespaces uh, it is using so let us uh, disable this we don't need and click on run and select the request and I click on show namespaces aliases so automatically it is populating the uh, namespaces you can use it in your xpath query so what you can do you can just copy this and you can paste it here and then you can use it in your uh, query for example soap and colon and the element so that is how it works and here also you can use the slash uh, star which will give you the uh, the match uh, the value i mean the the root element or if you want to uh, traverse uh, you can use the uh, syntaxes like say uh, soap body test uh, okay it's not giving anything so i think soap envelope so this is our parent so soap let us execute again it's messed up okay so soap envelope and if you click on test it is giving the uh, matches and slash soap body and slash add response so it is not giving the match i think this expert query is wrong so it's kind of messed up because of the uh, namespaces aliases but there is a better way to write so what you can do is you can use the uh, name uh, function and you can enter the name of the xml uh, tag and you can retrieve the uh, text so let us use this xpath query which will automatically uh, give you the value uh, 25 because in the request we are sending 10 plus 15. so this slash text uh, you have to use uh, to extract the uh, text of the uh, tags and there are multiple ways you can extract the uh, add results uh, value here so one way is using the slash uh, soap envelope body etc or you can use uh, like this so this is very long query actually using the name so this will uh, say uh, name soap envelope name is equal to soap body name is equal to add response and uh, text so this will also give you the value 25 okay let us execute this uh, and see it in a debug sampler so if we go to debug sampler you can see the value answer is equal to 25 in my xpath2 extractor i have mentioned the variable answer and the xpath2 xpath query and the match number and default value on my uh, namespace aliases so you don't need this namespace aliases because we are not using the namespace alias here so if you execute without that also it will work fine so this one you will be using if your xpath query is using the uh, namespaces aliases so otherwise you don't need to enter the uh, aliases list here so if you're working in xml uh, the traversing through the xml nodes kind of very tricky but there are a lot of online tools available a lot of online references available and uh, you can refer the uh, xpath uh, documentation or you can use this tester uh, to traverse the nodes and you can retrieve the uh, required value that needs to be extracted so that is how it works so i hope uh, the uh, season 2 is very helpful and uh, 
we are going to start with season 3 pretty soon and uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and sign up at community.qnsets.com and have a good day thank you if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel